So today I am going to completely skip the intro for this video and just go straight to the tutorial. I'm going to first do the Wild Fox Inspired Tea and basically to make this tea you need 9 items that you like. Or Google anything you like. So I just copy pictures from Google and then I paste them on Google Doc and then I dropped and then resize them and just make sure I use the transfer paper to the maximum. When you're searching for pictures, I really recommend you typing out PNG. The results of the PNG will give you a white background, so this saves you ink from printing out useless background images. And prior to printing out your images, I highly, highly recommend you just reading the instructions, whether or not to mirror the image, because I did make the mistake of not mirroring my image. And in case you're wondering, I'm using Transformation. This one is for white fabric. And like I said, read the instructions because don't be like me, completely printed out the images onto the wrong side. However, if you did, it's completely fine. And then afterwards, cut out your images and you don't have to cut out the images as precise as I did. So afterwards, just plan out how you're going to place those images remember that you have to flip your images like this before you iron them or else bad things will happen. And like I said, make sure you mirror your image or else any words or numbers will be ironed on backwards. So yes, don't make the same mistake as I did. And afterwards, you're just going to peel off the backing or the transferring paper. Sometimes it'll be a little bit hard, sometimes it'll be easy. If it's a little bit hard, iron it just a few seconds more. My instructions say that you have to iron it at least 20 seconds. Afterwards, you're just going to label each image. And to do that, I chose to just handwrite everything. If you have absolutely terrible handwriting, um, I highly recommend you not doing this. If you do have bad handwriting, then I just recommend you printing that out. After you're done, just make sure you let this thing dry for 24 hours before washing it with cold water. On to our next t-shirt. It's Brandy Melville Pineapple Cross Tea. That's what I'm going to call it. So if you just look up Brandy Melville Pineapple, you can actually find the same exact image like this. If I were to expand the size of this, it would look very pixelated. So instead, I spent like about an hour on Google trying to find this picture. The same exact picture that Brandy Melville used for their tea. I found it. Thank God I did. And basically, I'm just going to crop this image into a crop. Since I don't have Photoshop or any type of like advanced photo editor besides paint. You can always cut it out however you want after you print it out. So it doesn't have to be exact. So like the previous T, I'm just going to flip the image and just iron it. And like I said, make sure you print on the correct side, unlike what I did. And when it's cool to touch, just do your best to peel it. Believe it or not, this clip that you're watching right now is at 4 times the speed. After you're done, I'm just going to cut this out because in the original tee, it is a crop top. I tried to cut the sleeves as according to the brand level, but I didn't really like how it went. So I just made it into a muscle crop tee like this and I kind of like the results. And to wear this tee, I'm just pairing up some mid-waisted shorts. And I'm wearing this Forever 21 bangle and some rings because I love my rings. You guys probably all know. I'm just wearing these memory foam sketchers. They have like these kind of tropical floral print on them. And they're really, really comfortable. And for another tee, I'm just styling with this oversized like denim shirt from Banana Republic. I'm wearing these jeggings from Forever 21 that I bought years ago, seriously, and I folded up just a little bit. And I'm also wearing these Skechers from the Demi Lovato collection. I love, love, love these shoes. 
And that's basically it for this really easy tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy this. If you do, please thumbs up this video and follow me on Instagram. I already know I've said this a billion times, but follow me on Instagram. It's the same as my username, Barry Barely. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, bye guys!